Or, well, after all the world events of 2023, I'm hoping in 2024 for peace in Ukraine, peace everywhere else in your hearts, and that we all go off to a great start into spring, into summer, just smiling with sunshine hitting us and the warm thoughts of a good prosperous new year keeping us going because at the moment a lot of people are despondent and feeling sad so i brought this festive song on it's called amazing grace now i already have from queen omega from let's say the reggae music field although she's a crossover as well she's done covers and pop and her own music she did Jamazing Grace so I'm going to link it to this and you should have a double whammy listen to this then listen to her version because her version is a great twist it's full of her own words using the chorus Jamazing Grace but this is Stan Walker's version of Amazing Grace putting his little twist onto it in what we call a more normalized pop way and it's so full it's got the choir it's got everything that will lift your spirits hopefully whom is the artist Australian born New Zealand singer well he is Stan Walker and he's also an actor and television personality in 2009 he, he was the winner of the seventh and last season of the Australian Idol he subsequently signed a recording contract with Sony Music Australia and in December 2009, Walker released his debut studio album, introducing Stan Walker, which was, which included the hit Black Box. Let me bring up my notes. The album debuted at number three in the Australian charts and was certified platinum by the Australian record industry. It also appeared on the New Zealand charts at number two and was certified triple platinum by the recording industry in New Zealand. Now in 2020, Walker released an autobiography titled Impossible, My Story, a compilation album was released to coincide with the album titled Impossible. The album peaked at number 22 in the New Zealand chart. Now although he's extremely, extraordinarily popular, the one thing that has always hindered him from having a normal life is his fans. The adulation his fans in Australia and New Zealand have for this artist is almost Beatlemania. He feels sometimes he's so suffocated by it all that even years later he can't really walk anywhere without people, you know, crowning him. But that's the price of fame. That's the price of being in front of the TV cameras. During one prayer session, he was told to imagine an altar, then to pile everything that had ever happened to him good, bad or indifferent onto it and jump on top. It was like total surrender and I blacked out. He began to dream various scenes of performing on stage with the band of his family back on the, on the Maori and then, and that's in New Zealand everybody, and then of other family members in tears of joy. And all the time a voice was saying he was being called to woo God's people back to, with his voice. It was like, did that just happen? I'd never heard that word woo in my life. I had to go look it up in Google. Then during the camp's final service, the pastor called him on stage to sing. But when he got there, he broke down. I was just weeping on the mic. Then when I opened my eyes, everyone was on the ground crying and the band had stopped playing. They were in tears too. From that moment, my whole life changed. Most importantly, he allowed himself to forgive his father and dump the anger he'd always carried. He now felt like a man on a mission, even if he had no idea of where it lay until he was watching television and saw an advertisement for the up and coming Australian Idol auditions. So on May the 9th, 2009, he joined thousands of other wannabes in the Suncorp Plaza in Brisbane, hoping to be granted an audition. It didn't start well. You Polisians come in here, you can sing, but you're all lazy, said the first producer he met. I just kept smiling, laughing back at him, says Walker. But I was thinking, you don't know me. I'm the most competitive person to walk in here all day. And I'll show you. And what he's done with his life is he's shown to the world that faith did carry him, sustain him, and got him through those tough times. And got him to forgive his father. And got him to heal. Internally, externally, with everybody around him. 
today everybody that is very poignant when you consider he's going to sing right now amazing grace with a beautiful choir and uplift your spirits that's what he had to do to himself through adversity he smiled through the dark times he saw the light and through the light he's been a philanthropist he's been an inspiration to many young people and the only suffocating thing is that people idolize him for all of those wonderful gifts that he has he says it's a gift from god but everybody his voice whether it be a gift from god or whether it be something alien to him we all know that it's something we savor when we hear and i hope you do too it's a message of faith and inspiration i wanted to give you from the artist's own life himself and what he's got through to become what he's become he's incredible and on the video it says i hope i pray that your christmas and new years will be blessed beyond measure and i'm hoping that the best is yet to come for you all and i wish that message for all of you listening for 2024 for all my subscribers for all the people who commented you've pushed my channel over a million views way over a million now 1.3 million views and I can't believe that from January 23 I had 85 subscribers and hitting 2024 the same time I'm going to be hitting upwards of seven to ten thousand which is honest views honest subscribers and I'm just so elated so elated that I'm growing as well like Stan you have to have faith within yourself to project that to others so please retain the faith if not in God in yourself always believe in yourself turn the negatives into positives and life will be okay for you I'm sure of it that's my message for Christmas that was an extract from Stan now let's listen to him and come back when I'll give you a little summary of what amazing grace covered by thousands of artists even if they put their own little twists on like Stan does what it actually means happy festive season to you all and a happy new year if you've just watched this video in 2024 i wish you peace love and joy how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me i once was lost but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved.
you can see why I played Amazing Grace by Stan Walker. Absolutely phenomenal. It was his version of Amazing Grace. Just beautiful. And now I'm just going to give you, to wrap up, the meaning of Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace is as deeply spiritual as you've heard there and widely recognised hymn that carries profound meaning for many people. The song was written by John Newton, a former slave trader turned abolitionist and clergyman in the late 18th century. It speaks to the power of the divine grace and the transformative effect it can have on an individual's life. It expresses gratitude for salvation that comes through God's grace. It reflects nature of grace, describing it as the teaching of the heart, the fear of God, and then relieving those fears. The lyrics acknowledge the challenges and hardships experienced along life's journey, just like Stan has. And the lyrics shift the focus to the promises of the Lord. The singer finds hope and security in God's word, highlighting the Lord's role. Even the fifth verse is about morality. It reflects the belief that when the earthly life of physical strength fades away, the believer will possess an eternal life of joy and peace beyond the veil. And just as the singer has no fewer days to sing God's praise, after 10,000 years they emphasize the eternal nature and worship and devotion the lyrics do of the song. The final verse encapsulates the idea of a profound impact of God's grace will never diminish and that the believer's gratitude and adoration will live forever and ever. Amen.